Hello there, thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm just going to very quickly show you the finished pond. This is just the refurbishment of an existing pond. The pond was already here, bridge was already here, urns were already here, although only one of those was actually spilling water into the pond. So we've used two big urns, one on either side, to return the water back to the pond. We haven't put a new filter in, the existing filter is behind the trees behind me there. We haven't changed the pump, it was working fine. All we've done, we've torn the old pond out because it wasn't looking too good and it was leaking and we put it back together again. Most of the stone behind me is the existing stone and we've just added some new walling stone and new sandstone slabs around this edge just to make it accessible. We've also added three lights, two of which are under the bridge. One points to that urn one point to that urn and there's another one here which points against this back wall here so on a night when the light's shining across here it's catching all these ripples and firing up reflections into all of these overhanging bushes here I'm not sure how well it comes out but on the other side you can see the reflections from the sun on the leaves there on a night when that's illuminated you're going to get that effect right across those bushes. This is the filter. It's a TMC ProClear Advantage UV25. Still doing the job. There's a basic box filter which the UV feeds into and that's just full of your basic foams and plastic shapes. But it's doing the job so we left it in. With regard to the electrics, the electrics were a nightmare so I've replaced them with an Awazi FM Master 3 and under here you've got terminals so we've got pump, UV and lights wired in and there's also a permanent live feed here in case you ever want to use a pond hoover or anything and all these three terminals are switchable so there's a little handset which turns them on and off once the lid goes on that just keeps it all lovely and dry and safe. This is the remote control that comes with the FM Master 3. So here we've got the pump. Let's switch that off. Notice that's stopped. Put it back on again and that resumes the flow. This middle one is for the UV and I'm not quite sure why you would need the UV switchable but it's switchable anyway and this bottom one here is for the lights and hopefully under the bridge you should see that light come on there you go it's just above the controller there that's it obviously it's not having much effect during the day but on a night I'm sure that'll give a lovely effect and there's also the option for one of those to be dimmable doesn't work with the lights but if you have a pump with an asynchronous motor for example one of the Oasi Aquamax pumps you can wire that into this third terminal on the FM Master 3 and you can dim it down so in the winter you could dim it down to 10 20 percent of its power so that you wouldn't chill the water a very good unit We didn't alter any of the pipe work and where the pump feeds out it feeds into a T-piece up here one side of which goes to one urn and the other one goes to the filter so by altering the lower one i.e. by restricting it you can get the flow perfect between the two urns So that's it very quick video because it was a very quick job it was literally whip the old pond out store the fish in a big container with a pump replace the liner over good underlay. Uh, the liner was a millimetre thick rubber and put stones around the back edge, replaced the plants that were around the back there just to hide everything. Cement new capping stone on right around this edge and that was about it. Returned the water, put the fish back in, set the pump away, 
rig up new electrics. That's the job done. As always, thanks very much for watching, and if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe.